We're going to use a completely different method than the previous one, an updated method. That will give us the option to recover our device easily and quickly. We won't need to use a PC to access our device, so we can take it to the home screen and add a new Google account and a screen lock. This is one of the easiest and fastest ways to fix and recover our device. What we're going to do in this video tutorial is use a completely different method. What happened to our phone? We reset it, we formatted it. As you can see here, we're left with that padlock. Previously, we could also access it through the emergency call option. We would dial it and click where Google Maps would load and tap the screen, but we can see that the Google Maps option is no longer working, or rather, it does appear, Google Maps does appear, but when we tap it, it takes us nowhere. We're left with, that method no longer works. Everything would no longer be working. If that's your case, and you have an updated device, then I recommend watching the step-by-step -step video tutorial so, you don't miss any details and can fix and recover it. Also, I want to mention that in the video description and in the first pinned comment, we have other completely different methods. A PC method and a completely PC-free method, where you'll be able to access several video tutorials and recover your device easily and quickly. We're going to connect to a Wii. Find network to begin the recovery process. Let's start the recovery process. We're going to connect to a network and go to where our screen lock appears. Previously, we could access it from here, from privacy policy, and from there we would reach the following options where we could share where We could share by selecting a comment, and from there it would take us directly to some settings where we could access our device. But as these videos show, these devices have been updated, and we've also made new updates. First of all, before starting the recovery process and explaining what we're going to do, let's get to where our device appears locked. with a screen lock and a Google account. We'll wait to be taken here. Here we see the screen lock screen, which we don't know. Here it tells us to use a Google account. It says to use a Google account, which is what we need. Here it tells us that we need an email address because sometimes we forget the screen lock, but if we don't know the Google account, we can write it here. We click. Next, add the email password, and it will give you access without needing to watch the entire video tutorial. That would be one of the easiest and fastest ways to recover our device. What would be the next option? It tells us that if you don't remember the email, you can use the phone number. You entered in the email. You write the phone number. Click next, and then you receive A. You add the recovery code. Click next, and it should give you quick access to your device. But let's say you don't have either of those options. In that case, I recommend doing this. Click here where it says, forget Gmail. Select here, type any text. Select, write the same thing and type the same thing down here as well. Now, click Next. Next, we'll do this for a minute and a half. 
to create an error that will give us access to recover our device. This is one of the easiest and fastest ways to recover a device after formatting it. Getting that screen lock also using the Google account. We'll do this for a minute and a half, as we mentioned. Those who want to We've also included other methods in the video description. Try them. And to recover your device this way easily and quickly. We'll do this in a minute and a half, we're almost there. Now that we've done this step. What we're going to do is quickly go back. To the start, and from here the entire recovery process will begin. Let's do it, we're almost finished. You know, we're going to quickly go back to the start to complete this process. Now, what we're going to do is go back. We're going to go back, 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 back. Back until we get here to the start. Now we're going to click here. Well, we're going to click here on next. We click next, we click skip. Now, what we're going to need is another device. We're going to use another device. We click here on Android. We're going to use another phone. What do we need on the other phone? We need a screen lock. Then we also need a Google account. We're going to have a Google account. We have a Google account here, we have it added. Those are the two options. That we need a Google account and a screen lock. Screen. We're going to sync this same screen lock. With this device as well, we'll be syncing this same account we have here. The same account will be successfully added to this other device. Let's click here on this Google icon that appears here, select our camera. Click here. Here we're going to scan this QR code. Here it says, sign in. Here it says, sign in. We're going to sync these two devices. Here we're going to select, use screen lock. Draw the screen lock and all these functions will automatically sync on these two devices. We click, accept, and then it will take you to this lock and lock synchronization. We're going to enter that same lock so that it gives us access to our device. Now that that's happened, what we're going to do is the following. We're going to press the power button and the volume down button at the same time. This is to restart our device. We're going to press those two buttons. We're going to press those two buttons at the same time. So that our phone restarts automatically. Now that our phone has restarted automatically. What we're going to do is wait for our phone to take us to the home screen. When it takes us to the home screen, that's where everything will begin. It will show us that our device. Uh, that the account we had on the other. Phone will be fully added to this device. We're going to press the power button. It seems like it turned off and didn't restart. So what's going to happen? As we said, this same account that we have. Here will be synchronized. Everything will be automatically synchronized. Now what we're going to do is wait for our phone to start up. When our phone starts up, then we'll complete the recovery process. That's why it's always recommended to watch the step-by-step -step video tutorial so 
You don't miss any details and can solve the recovery of this device. We're going to click here on Skip. We're going to click on Skip. Now that we click here on Let's Jump. Let's wait a few seconds, let's wait. We click here to accept. We click here to accept. This will take us directly to the home screen. Let's wait a few seconds. As you can see, this takes us directly to what it says here. Here is the account. Our account has been added. If you see this, it means the video tutorial was successful. If you see that it's not working, then reset it and repeat the process. We click here on copy, I mean, not copy. Here the account appears again. We click on more, more, accept, we click accept, we click here on skip, skip. We click here on continue, we click here on thanks. Skip, OK. We are now in the last steps where we will be able to recover our device. We click here on skip. We click next, and we click next. Here we are going to click on finish. Here we would be finishing this recovery process. This will take us directly to the home screen so we can access our device easily and quickly without so many complications. That's why it's always recommended to watch the video tutorial step by step to the end to be able to solve and recover your device. As we can see here, we have our device fully recovered. Now as we said we already have here we have the added account. Here we would give the added account. And now all we had to do is add a screen lock. Here it asks for our Google account password. 